What do you need, Lloyd? Oh, I guess I should wait. Unless you want to talk about some of your X-rated weekend adventures, my son can handle any business talk. Okay, well, Steve Levitan, creator of Modern Family, is looking to make a move. Great. Go get him. He wants a meeting with you and I. I can't do it now, Ari, Lloyd. I'm with my son. I don't have any time. Are you haven't had any time for anything since... Since what? Since the S-E-P-A-R-A-T-I-O-N. I can spell separation, you know. Get out. All right. I will take care of it when I have some time. And don't ever spell in front of my son again because he's S-M-A-R-T-E-R than you. Bye, Jonah. Bye. You're mean to Lloyd, Daddy. Get up, buddy. Perry didn't call you, E. Are you sure you should be here? We don't want him to mistake your pale, round face for a crack rock. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. What the hell's that, Scott? The Tic Tac, what the fuck? Put it away. I don't want him seeing anything that even resembles a pill. Don't go crazier on us, Drama, or we'll leave you here for treatment. So, what's up with you guys, huh? Nothing's up with these guys. What are you talking about? They've been frozen like Ted Williams, waiting for the return of their life. And now that it has returned, let's get back to it. Did you guys get caught up in that whole mining disaster? Fifteen guys stuck underground for a month. Yeah, in Chile, that was like a year ago. This wasn't Chile, it was Romania. These things happen bi-monthly. I mean, it was riveting. I mean, I felt like these guys. Cut off from all my friends and family for three months. I mean, I didn't talk to anyone until yesterday. And you pretty much spoke to everyone, huh? The main character is an American. Mortgages his house and smuggles his Labrador into Romania to dig for survivors. Anyway, I, I really think there's a movie in this. Yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. A movie for you? I mean, it could be great, don't you think? Why? Well, I mean, there's just not a, a whole lot of time between now and March, Vince. And I want to direct it, too. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Johnny, order me something good, huh? You got it, bro. Track him. Yeah. Vin, wait up. Directing? A Labrador? I take it easy. I am easy. I just want to make sure that we all have our senses here, because he's pitching a Lifetime movie that should be starring the Marley and Me dog, not him, and a bunch of dummies are drooling like he's selling Avatar. No, no one drooled. I didn't hear you say anything negative I, either. I said it with my eyes. I got rid of every illicit substance I found. You emptied the bar? That's going to freak him out. I'm not that stupid. I replaced everything with non-alcoholic lookalikes. I got whiskey in the whiskey bottles, non-alcoholic vodka in the belly bottles. And I personally hand-filled 30 various beers with Odules. You seem out of it, are you? I'm okay, fine. Just, you know, I need it. What? A drink? It's okay if you want to have a drink, Ari. I think there's a bottle of vodka in the freezer. Thank you. Good man. <laughs> hey, Vince, the coal miner slash Labrador thing is genius, bro. If you don't direct it, I would love it. <laughs> Drama! Hey, where's the vodka? There's no left in the freezer. I put it all the way. The place is clone with addicts. Look, I need a drink. You don't want what I have. Just give it to me. There's eight bottles in the barbecue. Help yourself. Thank you. I don't know. I mean, he says he's enjoying his clarity. He's fine. No. Once you're an addict, you're always an addict. Lame. You might want to slow down, Ari. <laughs> Fuck you, drama. An addict, unlike most people, once they start drinking, smoking, or doing whatever it is they're addicted to... Jerking off. For me. For sure. It's impossible for them to stop. The compulsion is too strong. I, myself, I cannot even have one sip of beer. Why? What would happen? After about a week... I'd be holed up in my grandmother's house with my penis tied off looking for a vein. <laughs> I wanted everyone to see this. That's okay, everyone. Remain calm. He's still a friend of Bill's. That beer is not real. I know it's not real, Johnny. I know all of this is not real, including the vodka Ari thinks he's tripping on. None of this is real, and none of you are being real. Because I'm fine. I didn't do coke. I'm not gonna do coke. Okay? I want to get back to where I was. I want all of this behind me. But if you, my agent, my representatives, my friends, or whatever the fuck you are, keep treating me fucking weird, I can't do that. We get it. Good. So now, if everyone thinks my movie idea sucks, just tell me. It's really bad. Possibly worse. It was worst, just actually disgusting. You too, Billy? I mean, you know, if, if it was on a network and drama was the American, I'd love it. I love that. So do I. Can we make that happen? Ari? I'm still trying to process the fake vodka thing. I'm crying? No, it's, I've got smoke in my eyes.
morning, Ari. <clears throat> Why are you lying in wait, Lloyd? I had some things to tell you and wanted to be sure to catch you before you got distracted. Can I wait till I get to my office? Well, there's two things. I can tell you one now and one when we get to your office. You pregnant? I'd never carry a baby after all the hard work I put into this body. Speak. I had my breakfast meeting with Stephen Levitan this morning. Congrats. You're going to be the new gay in Modern Family? No, I'm going to be the new agent of one of the biggest showrunners in the business. Very impressive. It's not a done deal. Well, make it a done deal and I'll pay for the lipo so you can stop fretting about all that failed dieting. My meeting was at Flay's. Did they take the Ari Golden Corn Tamale off the menu? No, it's still there. What? Speak, or I'll rip your tongue out and serve it to my son's lizard. Your wife was there also. Clear my schedule. Him too, you're coming with me. Do you think that's wise, given the state of the TV department? I don't give a fuck about the TV department. All I care about is who convinced my wife to go to a restaurant she hates. Is she fucking a waiter? I don't know anything about anything. Tell me she's not fucking a waiter. Ari, you know I would never betray my sister. Your sister and your parents betrayed you. They cut you off financially because they think you're an unstable alcoholic. It's a matter of opinion. But we'll give all your money away to the first man that smiles at you. I'm all you got. Is she fucking a waiter? I don't know if she's fucking anybody. Who is she seeing? Please, please. You owe me, Marcy, all right? There's no telling what will happen to those tuition checks if I lose my mind. Don't you threaten my children. Lance is doing so well now. He actually got a C-minus in geometry. Great. Maybe he's ready to get a job then. Lloyd! Yeah, sorry. You still want to be head of the TV department? I would let you pull out all my fingernails with pliers for the honor. I want you to call over to the madman offices. I want you to get everyone from Matt Weiner to the PAs to treat that waiter like shit. Humiliate him and send him packing. I, I don't know if I can... If I see that kid on the madman set, I'm going to be a mad fucking man, all right? If I see him anywhere, even as a, a pus face zombie in The Walking Dead, I'm going to shoot someone in the head. Get it done! I just wish you were together. I know, Lloyd. Because you are like the perfect couple. Like Lady Di and Charles. Lady Di and Charles got divorced and then she died. Now shut the fuck up. Bobby? Flay. You're dating a cook? He's a chef, Ari. And he's a businessman. And he's kind and respectful and generous. He's a red-headed fire crotch. He's a genetic mistake. Jesus, Ari, you are such a child. I... Everyone hear my words. Bobby Flay is now my sworn enemy, which means he is yours. Now, if anyone eats or even recommends any one of that Boy Meets Grill fucks establishments, it'll be Agent Meets Fist. I mean this sincerely, Vince. I would hack off my penis before I would ever allow you to work with Carl Ertz again. You're not motivated. Untrue. I'm highly motivated. Really? Watch this. Lloyd! Let's talk to the head of the TV department. Lloyd's the head of the TV department? The interim head until he fucks up and then he's back to pushing a mail cart. Ari, it's been a while since you've been with another woman. It's natural. I'm not scared. I'm scared for the town. Because once I go out, women will fall and men will start wailing. You do not want to compete against me for ass, Vinny. Ha, I welcome the challenge. I told him that I have someone for him. I told him I'm not turning gay. Send Ertz an email. Chase, Walsh, and Ertz present an All Attic production. You tell him if he doesn't deliver, I'm going to excommunicate him from this entire town. You want to do shots? Shots? I think it'll loosen you up. I need to be loose. <laughs> I'm the incredibly tight 116-year-old man. Do you have a condom? I haven't used one since the mid-80s. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. I just, I'm feeling lonely and I didn't know who else to call. Any chance you're not busy and want to see me? Oh, Ari. Listen, uh, only if you're bored. Are you drunk? No, I'm lonely and I just wanted someone smart and mature to talk to and Warren Buffett wouldn't take my call. Come to my house for a drink. Okay, but just a drink. Don't worry, Dana, I don't even have a condom. Vinny, how you doing? Sorry, Mr. Paul. I was in a meeting. It's okay, I'm fine. I saw brains. That's great, I'm guessing they weren't dramas. Come on, come on, let him through. He's not answering to anything. Your lawyer's inside. Come on, let's go. Get that fucking camera out of my face! Rick. Oh, now where are you going? How many times has he left these sessions in the middle? Well, 
It is my turn now. So what, you're just gonna walk out on me? Bill this one to her. Ari, look at this. The world famous chef Bobby Flay. Hello, Dana. How are you, Bobby? I'm good. I didn't know that you two knew each other. You didn't used to date, did you? Ari, right, what are you doing here? I don't know what you mean. I'm, I'm on a date. I'm at my favorite restaurant. <laughs> What's the problem? He'll have to explain that to you. Bobby, why don't you go back to hiding in your kitchen before I shove a shiitake mushroom up your ass? <laughs> really? Yeah. We'd go outside if I didn't think I was sort of wrong. Sort of? Asshole. What the fuck is going on? Nothing. Ari? I'm just thinking about the veal. Some overpriced fucking soft meat. Huh? Hello? What the fuck are you thinking? What's the problem? What, you think that Bobby wouldn't tell me that you were there on a date? Well, I guess the bro code's out the window when you're fucking someone's wife. You don't lock doors around here? I could be robbing the place. Dad, when are we going? Change of plans, buddy. We are going to the L.A. Zoo because it's closer. That sucks. But guess who's coming to the office? Taylor Lautner. Ew. Really? Mm -hmm. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> She gets to hang with the wolf man, provided he keeps his shirt on. He has 4% body fat. Daddy has five. Tell mommy. Daddy's been working out. Come to my office when you're done. Do you even have an office here? Fuck you. Fuck you, plant. Fuck you, fucking 20 inch screen. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking stupid fucking balcony. Fuck, Fuck you the most! Hello? Ari? Dana! Hey, how are you? Did you just call me? It's possible. Are you okay? Uh, I don't think so. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. What can you do? I can come over. Is this some sort of cruel prank to stick it to me because I cannot deal with a revenge fuck right now? Well, maybe I can. Barbara, hi. Barbara, hi. What kind of a weird greeting is that? What would you like? It's not what I'd like, but I'm more used to. Hey, Babs, you're so old, I'm surprised they didn't carry you here in a coffin. <laughs> I know you don't visit the accounting department very often, but cash flow is not ideal right now. Then float me. You probably have that much in your depends. There you go, Ari. What do I smell? I'm cooking. That's not your cooking. Ari. Is Flay in my fucking house? You want to talk money? We can. The first thing I'm going to bring up is that this is not your house. Holy shit. He's in my house? Ari, no. Yo, grill master. Ari. Are you in my fucking house? I got a new show for you. It's called Boy Meets Husband Ari. Who Kills Ari. Him. I don't know most of you. Why would I? I don't deal with TV. I especially don't deal with made-for-TV movies. This is different. Vince Chase wants this for his brother Johnny. Now, we all know that Johnny Chase may have limited talent, but like a child with special needs, a real family member will stand by his side. A real family member will buy that child's way into Harvard, if that's what it takes. Vince Chase is standing by his brother, and I'm standing by both of them. Now... I want every available option on the table for how to get this film made by the end of the day. Whoever succeeds will forever be my family member. Whoever doesn't will be cleaning tanning beds in fucking Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, I'm sorry, Ari. Dana Gordon's on the phone for you. Looks like I just did your job for you. You're all fired. He said he loved the script. Yeah, but because of my strike, he hates me. He said that? Well, he hasn't said anything. I sent the guy a six dozen delicious cookie apology and haven't even gotten a response. Ari, he's in a meeting. Listen, if he would have called me back, we could have avoided me interrupting it. I'm just with him. I love the script, Vince. But you're mad at my brother. No, no, it's... It's not that. Business is business. Strikes are strikes. When it's over, there's no grudges held. So what's the problem, then? Moonves wants a bigger name. Oh, come on. Chris Noth, Christian Slater, one of the good-looking guys that was on Lost. It's a fucking TV movie, Phil. I know. But... No buts, Phil. You're, you're pissed. Is that it? You're holding a grudge, Phil? Are those the cookies my brother sent to you? All smashed up? Okay, fine. I... I don't know if I can. How about your charity? What are you working on now? It's still the, uh, 
German Shepherd thing? Yeah, it's horrible what people do to that beautiful breed. $5,000 for me just to say yes to this. $5,000, Harry? Oh, wow. That might feed 10 dogs for a week. I'm going through a fucking divorce right now, Phil, huh? Too hard. <laughs> <laughs> When haven't I listened to you? Remember my friends, the transfer students from Italy? Yes. You don't remember? No. Look, Ari, I, I don't remember seeing the scene. You've got to be here, so find it. Maybe someone took it. Who would be stupid enough to take something out of my office? Uh, Lloyd sometimes does. Does he? Um, Lloyd! Uh, please don't tell him I told you that. He scares me. Lloyd! Because if you have any problem with that loan for any reason... I know divorce can cause financial hardship, even to someone as well off as you. But I am willing to put my money in. I just want the majority share that I deserve so I don't get outvoted on things like football coaches. Listen to that, Pabs. You hear that beautiful music? I hear it, Ari. Turn it up, Lloyd. My daughter found them. My daughter. She's about to graduate from high school. Huh? Can you believe that? All right. Shut the fuck up, Babs, and open your ears. Jake, get my daughter on the phone. Louder, Lloyd! Jesus Christ, Ari. This is a place of business. Not for me. Not anymore. What does that mean? It means take it. Take it all. Take the company. Take your shares. Take mine. I don't give a fuck! <laughs> the only thing you can't take is this picture of my family... And my lucky horseshoe. Are you fucking serious? I've got Sarah for you. Put her through to my cell. I'm going home. Ciao, Babs. You quit and didn't tell me? I did it all for my family, Lloyd. Lloyd. Hi, Melissa. And hi to them. I love them. And I'm glad your family's fine. But I'm family too, aren't I? You'll always be the gay son I never wanted. Yes, Lloyd. But what will happen to me without you? You will shine, Lloyd. How? You are my inspiration, Ari. I'm still learning to be more like you. No, you're not like me and you don't want to be. You're fair and you're honest and you don't like women. <laughs> I need you, Ari. You don't need me, but Barbara does because she doesn't have a clue what she's doing. You're more cunning and cuntier than she will ever be. You will shine, Lloyd, and I'm giving you your first clients right there. Really? Really. And what about Vince? What about Vince? He just called me. He said he's been calling you. I've been busy. What's up? Anything wrong? He's getting married. What? And he's pregnant. All right, well, then let's go, huh? Get out of here. <laughs> See, cross Except you, E. What do you mean? I think this plane might be a little crowded. Oh, that's hilarious. Are you going to make a short joke? No. I could. <laughs> I got you your own plane. What are you talking about? Good luck, E. Yeah, good luck. Hey. I think you're going to be fine. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. You want to hug it out? Nah. <laughs>